Hi, Sally. Hi, Jamie. Hey, we're here for an episode of Sally Journey Quilts and episode seven seven and it's saturday in april and i am jamie sally's daughter and sister to jacks of caddy jacks and i'm gonna make a chocolate cream pie in time for easter for those of you that celebrate or for just any old reason i was thinking the best reason is jackie is visiting caitlin in tennessee this weekend and I'm thinking that we they're going to be podcasting tomorrow, and we will be doing our podcast about the same time, so you can watch quilting and knitting. Um, but I think what we're going to do is send them a picture of the pie in order to make sure that Jackie leaves that beautiful Tennessee um, spring, because she's mm -hmm. sending pictures that you would not believe. Yeah. And yesterday, wasn't it snowing here? Yes, it was snowing. Mm -hmm. It was not lovely. Yeah, fortunately today, it is sunshine. Yes, all right. So, Sally, what what have you been up to? Um, I've been up to A my lot. usual <laughs> shenanigans, which is um, trying to keep the family together and all that stuff in this house of many people, but quilting, quilting, quilting. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I'm so excited about it, and I've shared in, I think Jackie and I did a live. Was it Jackie and I that did the live just a couple of weeks ago? Could be, yeah. Yeah, talking mm -hmm. about the quilts that I just recently put into the Etsy shop, which is Sally Journey Quilts. I keep it very simple, Sally Journey Quilts everywhere, so that I don't have to remember. And Journey, J-E-R-N-E-Y. That's correct. That's yeah. correct. I forget that because it's just... Right. The way it's supposed to be. They didn't <laughs> ask me when they picked the spelling. There you go. Anyway, so I have um, still, I mean, the the response to those quilts was very heartwarming. Um, I think, you know, it was a very, very big amount of quilts. I can't remember. It's something like 70 plus quilts and over half of them just went zoop like that. And uh, I have been just continuing to work and I wanted to share what I've been doing. Um, so That's we're gonna, awesome. And maybe talk a little bit more about some of these other pieces. So yeah, where, where are you going to start with, Sally? Well, I think what I'll start with is a little bit of what's in the Etsy shop right now because that I've already completed. So I'll just give you a quick, um, in case you missed our live. What I have been... Mm. Look at that, Mom. I'm sorry, I just saw the back first, mm -hmm. which is gorgeous. Liberty of London. Yeah. I love using Liberty mm -hmm. of London's um, backings. And so, wow, look at these. Yes, and what these are, it's, a, it's been a whole process of me going through these vintage fabrics. Mm -hmm. I have been trying to honor the women from that day, which these are from the 30s. 1930, do you realize that we are coming on very quickly that that's 100 years ago? Right. Which is mind-boggling mm -hmm. because the women around my kitchen table when I was a little girl, that was just, right. um, you know, the last decade because since I was born in the 40s. Um, anyway, so I went through a whole process and, I, you know, if you're familiar with it, you just can look back on my other um, episodes with Grandma Johnson's quilts and Aunt Bess's quilts and these things that I inherited incomplete. And what I did, I decided at some point that those things are fabric to be used in quilts that they needed to be carried forward because otherwise they just languish in a drawer somewhere or a box or an attic. And so I started this process of taking those pieces of quilts that you know, came down through my family and I made them into the, the log, you know, the um, pine tree kind of quilts and stuff on a different episode. And then last year, the phenomenal thing of getting that bag of, of 1930s, 40s hexagons from a quilter in the past who never completed her quilt. And those are, that got me through the pandemic. It really did. The being, mm -hmm. you know, sheltered at home, the whole deal. It was just, it was heartwarming. They touched a chord. They're all over the world. So after that was done, I don't know, we did a process of, um, oh, 
I did a whole bunch of re-entry quilts when we started, you know, just my quilts are story quilts. And so what they are is they, you know, when I'm quilting, I put the story of what's going on in our lives into the fabric. I mean, I think we all do when we make things, when we knit a garment for a long time, the fabric of what's going on in our lives goes into the, to the yarn the same way with quilting, especially quilting. Um, the stitches are done while people are running through the house going, where's my, you know, black shirt that I need for work or whatever, you know, I mean, they're, all the stories get in, you know, whether they're just mundane or whether they're, as it is now, these horrible, horrible Russia invading Ukraine. That's in my quilts now, the sadness of that. Um, you know, so whatever's going on. And I, it came to me that just like I do that, it was also the same way for those women in the 30s and the 40s during the time when the world was in another catastrophic period of war and upheaval and and uh, you know things that that we thought we were done with, right? Jamie, right. right. <laughs> Jamie teaches history or has mm -hmm. so you know she's yeah. yeah you know we're repeating ourselves as a people anyway. Um, so what has happened for me is my way of bringing honor to the women from those past eras is to take, I, I've discovered on Etsy that you can just, you know, put in on the search thing, vintage quilt blocks and up pops, you know, I think I've probably got them all now in the current, you know. <laughs> Whatever, I mean, you know, Are you hoarding, Sally? No, no, I'm using, oh. but I mean, I'm trying not to hoard. You know, I tell people where they are, and you know, you can just do that yourself. Um, and they, they aren't quilts. They're not uh, finished projects. They're, what they are is the little leftovers or the, the quilts that didn't get made because the woman passed on, probably. Um, you know, the projects did not get made. Mm -hmm. And so they're, they're absolutely beautiful. I won't pull that out right now and do that later. Um, but what I've, I've liked, I don't know, I discovered when I did Grandma Johnson's that when I got done with getting all the little trees out of her fabric, I found that I had leftovers and I started cutting out circles. And so I made a lot of circle quilts using her, her quilt that have the, you know, that's what these are, is the, oh, this isn't Grandma Johnson's, but it's another Grandma Johnson from somebody, you know, mm -hmm. somebody's grandma made that. And and so I, I found I just loved what happened when you take the, I have two sizes, you can use any size, I mean, they're just jar lids is what they are, and and cut out from the block the circle and then what happens is it's like a window it's like a little piece of art it um you know well and you've done that a lot with other pieces that you've made too yeah, is like you just zoom into right a space. i cut my own quilts up into yeah. like making squares out of oh them. yeah so this and, isn't anything you know this i've been i've been pieces. evolving this i take my own quilts and cut them up if i'm you know and i'll get into that i just believe that, it, that you know the energy needs to be released and used and brought forward into modern time. And that's what I'm doing. So, you know, there's there's um, quite a few of these. Jackie has some, I told her and to I take- I love when you put the little stitching, you know, the little stitching details. Those are little hugs. Yeah, little hugs, nice. Well, you know, what are X's and O's? I always get confused. Are I know, the X's, I do the too. Kisses I don't the, know. They're you kisses know, whatever, their love is what they are. Yes. I put little love, they don't all mm -hmm. have that, but it's just sometimes I feel like mm -hmm. doing it. If I think what happens is I get to a certain point and I have Ooh, leftover. I, like this one. I have right leftover thread on the needle. This looks so. like our jam jar. Isn't that funny? Yeah, it um, does. That's beautiful. But so each little circle then becomes like a little gallery, a little painting, a uh, you know, a vignette from from a quilter from long ago's. Mm -hmm. And then like when you pull yeah. out, it's got a different feel to it. Well, and each each quilter has a different artistry of back. how they choose their fabrics and what they place next to their, you know, that's what I love is it, it just kind of frees it up and goes, you know, and most of the time in these blocks. Ooh, and these are fun buttons. Mm -hmm. Tell me about these. I can't see them. Oh. Oh, those were buttons. The little red one mm -hmm. with the vine on it is... 
is what? Well, Jackie brought me a souvenir from New York when she was visiting oh, Debbie. Mm -hmm. And oh, look at this fun, sorry. It's adorable. It's beautiful. And she brought a whole bunch of buttons up to the counter. And she didn't think anything of it. And then, you know, she just paid for it. And she just about died because these, you know, some buttons are more costly than others. And she had gotten me quite a few buttons that, you know, buttons usually, you can get them for 60 cents a piece, a mm -hmm. $2, something. I can't remember. These were something like five, ten, you know, their shell is, or their, mm -hmm. some kind of hand painted, handmade. They're beautiful, but, yeah. but, um, so she was like, okay, mom, there, <laughs> there's your birthday present and whatever. Mm -hmm. But, um, so I, the oh, girls, did we already do this one? I feel like we did that one. We, done, we, we did. We did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we did that one. Um, and I, I was playing around with these going into a form where they could hang in a, mm -hmm. okay. so they're just, they're set, you know, they are sold separately, but I just have, I had them mm -hmm. experimenting. It's really cool when you see this on the wall as a whole unit. So mm -hmm. Sally put up, if you check her Instagram, I don't know, did you do it in the story? I have like, I'm the sister that, you know, yeah. whatever. I'm like, don't put it in the story. Then you can never find it again. I highlight them. You know, okay. the ones that I need, you know, I don't remember. Nobody I... wants to hear us bicker. Right. Yeah. So Sally's okay, right. Cause she's the artist. Um, but anyway, so yeah, this it's one, somewhere. Oh God, look at that. I just, some of the circles I absolutely adore. Mm -hmm. And that one particularly, it's just beautiful. There's another one of those buttons. Yeah on there. No, so, they're just gorgeous. They are beautiful. And this having it in a set and having it hanging oh, like Yeah, this. and I just want to make sure people understand when you go into the Etsy shop, you're just going to see them singly sold. That's that was me just playing with how does that look when mm -hmm. I do that. Yeah. So anyway, let's see where Okay, we're doing pretty good. Um So what else have you been working on? So do you have more in that sort of vein yeah, or I maybe Yeah, I do. I do. Oh, I have that's some springtime. Let's yeah, look at this, this one. Is, okay. Yeah, this was one. I sent some down. I miss having Caitlin here because it's so fun. When Caitlin used to come over and she would go, oh, Sally, and she'd look over all my stuff. And I've always loved sharing with her. So I sent a bunch down. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Jackie will show them on the podcast or not. If they mm -hmm. get, they have got so much to share. That's right. But anyway, I sent some so to show Caitlin. This piece is magnificent like breath of spring, it's spring. Time. can you tell i was influenced by a beautiful right. spring day yeah and i know so, look at the back of that it's just and then i mean the back is is spring just beautiful mm -hmm. um but you know like having these and they're all hand quilted just so you, right. you know, realize that different when flowers, i talk about putting those stitches in it it's so lovely this length um, just takes a really nice space, mm -hmm. um, you know, in between a window or whatever. And I just love this. And yeah, then, I like the shape. You know, got some more. Just I love adding buttons because buttons. it's like color and texture repeated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes it just takes a button. Um, yeah, I can show you the... There's a different... Oh, I have a couple more of those hidden in there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah couple more of these but oh i have loved this process this mm -hmm. project and then there's that gorgeous doesn't jackie have a bag made out of this i feel like yeah from way back mm -hmm. it's so pretty mm -hmm. i've had that one for a long time liberty of london for most of you may not know this but they're they're kind of like uh, well i mean they're a big deal in the fabric industry but they have um certain design they only come out like mm -hmm. seasonally and then sometimes sure. you never see them again they're in their archives so so then what are these little pieces these little pieces are just uh, is you know, there a is there a way to them no you can do whatever you want with them i love that you're doing all these circles to because to me circles are serenity i, I know they're sort of like moons there's mm -hmm. something very spiritual about a circle mm -hmm. it's uh and I love this shot cotton mm. backing on there that, I don't know if you can tell that. No, the pretty green, it's kind of, it's, oh. it's, mm -hmm. it's a woven with two different colors. So the left and the, that. the uh, maybe, can you see it? Uh, a little, little bit? bit. Yeah. But anyway, it just makes a very mm -hmm. subtle shimmery. It's very fun. Backing. Yes, it does. So, and then, and you know, there's a few more of these, um, 
few. Yeah, I love the red. Quite a few of these have, have already been sold, but I love this one too. This is this reminds me of Japanese lacquerware. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that gorgeous. And it, it, it is. And I have Sally's a, got them kind of. Again yeah, I put have, together. as Jamie and Jackie always teasingly refer to, my dealer, um, Sarah from Circa Fabrics mm -hmm. out in Washington. Um, that by the the fabric right in here is a beautiful vintage yeah. Japanese stripe. Oh God, I love it. Mm -hmm. So you can't. I don't know if they come across, but I the fabrics that are you the fabrics are so gorgeous in and of themselves. I right. I I'll probably hear about my handling of this. No, but. <laughs> you did fine. No, I love it. I love it. Oh. And then this you is, know, the B squad here. It's okay. Oh, mom, this I like this. Where have this been? It's been there. I have a what mm -hmm. I usually do for hanging is I I will put one of these little mm -hmm. you recognize these from the hexies. Right. One of those curtain things. Mm -hmm. Um this gives this a nice texture. And is this similar to that other that you were trying yeah, to show? Yeah, it's it's a woven, that's a Japanese fabric. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, I forget the, the name of the and then the binding is from Carla when she went to Bali. Oh. Remember when she brought that fabric back Yeah, from? so this right here along that the edges. That's my yoga teacher. And then this is just beautiful. Which oh, one is on the back? Just, the I think that's one you brought me from way me? back when, yeah. A long time ago. Jamie brings love. Me, she's a, a fabric gift. I mean, both mm -hmm. my daughters bring me buttons and fabric when they go mm -hmm. on vacation. Like... I love, you know, how the buttons play on there. I, it's one of my favorite things to do when I'm all done is just yeah. play in my buttons. Oh, got another one. Yep. No, these are... You've been and, busy. Well, <laughs> and I think the ones that were framed in this beautiful green are already mm -hmm. off in England. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. This one I love. This reminds me of like a woodland, mm -hmm. like a woodland by water. And it has Interesting. this particular, it's a very wobbly um, presentation, Same basically. Thing. But this is a very beautiful, fine, I shouldn't talk about too much because Jack will go, wait a minute, Mom. This was um, a linen that she had gotten Oops. 20 plus, probably 25 years ago to make something mm -hmm. with. And I've mm -hmm. been using parts of it. There's still we have enough. use it or lose it around We do here. have use it or lose it. Because, I mean, otherwise it'd just be sitting up there. I think it's almost 30 years old. And it's yeah. just Oh, look at gorgeous. that center fabric. Mm -hmm. that's I love it. It reminds beautiful. me of reeds. Like, mm -hmm. you know, in a water. Like the, that's what I mean by a, uh -huh. it's a woodland by a water. Yeah. You know, like a oh, pond. Oh, that's interesting. It reminds me of like in one of those old vases with the, sort of cracked glaze. But isn't it something. gorgeous? It is beautiful. And so I've been so much enjoying these these uh, fabrics from... Okay, so let me see. I have, do I have any more? Oh, I have this oh, one. Do you right? see what we have in the background there? I didn't quite place that really well. You see, we've got a nice big bag of Oreos. Those are back there for the pie. Oh, that's for the pie. Or if we get hungry, right? Right, yeah. This is just <laughs> a teaser. We're going to have dinner, Jackie. Okay, so then you can. Okay, so this is another type. I, I don't. I think I have one more of these in progress. Mm -hmm. But this is um, a couple of these have gone to. They're I call them the two by threes because you know it's mm -hmm. I got to distinguish. Mm -hmm. But look at those. Mm -hmm. Those thirties fabrics, I love them. Well, um, is what's about talk about the binding? Is that on one of those other pieces? This oh yeah that's that was the same I think it's the same Japanese fabric mm -hmm. that I put on the mm. and then the the backing is so pretty yeah right? oh this is this is pretty isn't that gorgeous here. yeah I mean that's I what the thing that. is whoever designed these and you don't ever hear about who mm -hmm. designed them nowadays everybody gets their name on fabric but that was like feed sacks and things and they're so sure. intricate. Right. They're yeah. so intricate. All right, I gotta slide over closer to you, or I'm gonna be off camera. Okay, so. This is the rest of the ones that are in the shop. Okay. And we'll show, this is a, well, let's do these that have the circles on them still. Okay. okay? This, this, these were just for play. I mean, there, does it have a bind? No. No. It can go. This is like, can go anyway. I haven't actually put the hanging sleeve on it because I, th I think I like that. I There isn't anything that determines other than I sort of saw this as possibly a J if you have it. Oh, turned out the other way. That. Does that kind of look like mm -hmm. a J? 
So I don't know. It's it's I'm, funny what you know what you latch onto and what you see because mm-hmm. when when I had it like this, I was like, oh, that's some kind of I don't know a tree or a. And do you know what that or, is? That little patch. That's the paint drop yes. cloth. Yes, it is. And what's that color for? What was that to? I don't know what that was. There are mysteries I don't in there. Recognize that? I don't paint. need. Anyways, yeah. So the these, drop cloth. Yeah, this well, is... Well, Stephen used it. You know, the kid's dad right. had it for years. Her own, you know, I mean, like our own created. You can never recreate that. So mm-hmm. it's just got all of our different projects on it. I wonder, are these the living room wall color, colors? The red and the dark? Yeah, well, ones? part of those are from up on the Anyways, third and then floor. there's another one up here, which yeah. is quite lovely. Well, I'm such a great painter that a lot of, you know, I was up painting the boys' room in the mm-hmm. attic, which is... Um, quite an ordeal and I just I was dying oh, to create the something sailboat, the sailboat the Liberty back. of London right I'm gonna set upside down yeah that sometimes that's the best way to figure it mm-hmm. you are entitled to decide sure. however you want it yeah. to be these are abstract and usually it's not until I actually put the binding um, or the hanging oh. and even if you get a quilt and the hanging strip is not oriented the way you want mm-hmm. because as Jamie I mean, like, says we can always go like if you have a space that that looks mm-hmm. gorgeous in. Right. I mean, you might not think to do it this way, but it could. You yeah. Know, and like... there's so many different ways. I mean, you can actually just take a big safety pin on mm-hmm. each corner and hang it off of a nail that way. Mm-hmm. I've done that. Right. Um, so feel free. Right. And look at those buttons on there, Mom. That's I love this. Quite beautiful. This was another quilter from, um, you know, the mm-hmm. circles in this one was a little bit more like a 50s mm-hmm. fabric, if I remember right. Mm. Um, Look at that. Just beautiful. I was trying to think. Yeah, and the, the buttons were fun to just play it. Mm-hmm. But this was something that very happened. very colorful. Yeah, I went upstairs and I was supposed to be doing something else. And that was laying on the desk, sort mm-hmm. of. And sometimes quilts will be... And how to describe them, they're laying on the desk right. waiting for me sure. to make them. And yeah. I just looked at it and I'm like, whoa, those circles look great on that backing. Mm-hmm. So, And then here's another, I think that was all the circles that are completed. So then sure. in this process, there's always like lots of leftover fabric. So we we should probably just quickly show these and then we're going to take a break and do some pie. And then I'll come back. And explain oh, why. Oh, all right. Or do you think so? Sure, yeah. Maybe, or... Or how do you think we should... Because there's, you know, I, let's just quickly talk about these yeah. and see where we get from here. Yeah. All right. So this is... Oh, there's Poppy. Yeah, we'll just let Poppy bark okay. for a oh, minute. Oh, Mom, look at that. That was look just the that. stuff that was laying on my on my mm-hmm. table. And it sort of went those like, Those little okay. spirals. I love those. Oh, I do too. And I, this mm. was... This fabric mm-hmm. was early on in my love affair of Circa fabrics. Oh. I saw that. That's another Japanese. What's this one in here? Those are vintage. That your dad got it at an at a estate sale. I he got me. You a, can remember that. Oh, he got me a box buttons, of vintage like, fabrics mm. that was just to die for. I've had that for years and years mm-hmm. and years, probably forty years. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, and then this is this like is, a series, right? Yeah, this yeah. is a series that, you know, several of these are gone too, but this is um, from Circa Fabrics also. She, I, she had a... I think I need to, like, push us out just a little bit. Okay. For, she yeah. had a package of these, or a, mm-hmm. a, a lot, I guess you call it, of about 40 or so hexagon mm-hmm. grandmother flower garden is what this right. pattern is called. Mm-hmm. And I got these because I was so in love with hexes. And then I thought, oh, God, I can't cut that up. They're so beautiful just mm-hmm. as they are. So I love to do this is like part of what I wanted to get to in my prog, you know, what oh, I'm doing now. Look at that backing. Mm. I love to do layering and I mm-hmm. love to do white on white quilts. Mm-hmm. I have a whole yes. series of white and white quilts, white on white quilts that I did for us. Mm-hmm. And these are leftovers mm-hmm. from that. They're old linens. They're mm-hmm. just, I have buckets of white fabrics, or right. white on white fabrics. And so I made a, a backing quilt, and then I placed the hex, mm-hmm. the flower garden on top of it. Mm-hmm. So 
it's just kind of neat to think about that there's actually a full on um, is this like lace right here yeah that's a tablecloth that's uh -huh. a beautiful I think that was from Grandma Alice. I have mm -hmm. the treasure mm. of that was one of the little men mm, that's in my white and white. On the back. That's another Liberty of London. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so then I put, I inherited her button jar, her white buttons. Your grandma's. My Grandma Alice's. Mm -hmm. And so I've been using some of those on these. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is pretty much everything. Oh, no, that's yeah. everything that's in the shop. Mm -hmm. So these are some new hot off the fingers. Yes, this is a hot just, off the fingers. Yeah, and I'll show you these are oh I, some more of those. Yeah, I made some more of those, and I'll ask you, Jamie. Mm -hmm. I don't think that this particular this threesome needs buttons, or do you think it does? Uh, I don't know. It's I mean, hard I kind of got them done. The, I got I love, them done, I and love. I sort of like the okay. Softness. I just want to come over here. I love it when you do all this like cool circular quilting so when you go you know in these spaces right oh when i just follow the designs of the fabric follow the designs it's I, just and i may put buttons on these if anybody wants to give me their opinion fine just mm -hmm. you know send mm -hmm. it to me but i like the flatness of this particular these three okay. and i love these blues mm -hmm. oh yeah they're yeah, pretty mm -hmm. i mean those fabrics are gorgeous Mm-hmm, they sure are. So it's fun to have the original quilter and my work right, together. together. And it's quilted. Right. I now have put my stitches over mm -hmm. her stitches. Well, and this is another one where, like, you repurpose, you know, this is lace tablecloth and mm -hmm. things like that. So I just love how you do that. All right, what else you got? How okay, so then this is, I'll just say this quickly. I have done this several times in my life. I get a quilt completely made or a quilt top completely made, but I've done this with um, quilts and they hang around for a long time. I don't have room for them. I love them. I keep showing them to people. They've been in the shop, you know, various different people have seen them and they're beautiful and I get lots of favorings and likings and all that. But just be aware that just because something is in the shop doesn't mean it's going to stay in the shop in that form. Um, right, because you'll yeah, take it and I will just take cut it, it up, and I'll do what I want. Because I repurpose. I mean, I feel when I get that urge, mm -hmm. I follow it. Mm -hmm. And this particular set of quilts that I haven't put in to the shop yet is just that urge. It was poppy. It was one of those wild poppy naps quilts, and mm -hmm. I loved oh. it. The buttons. But and like, it had parts of that, that were just so beautiful. It was kind of like, you know, it just called to me that it needed to be mm -hmm. separated and mm -hmm. freed. And um, so I, I cut it up yeah, and so reworked they feel it. feel different, you know, like some different pieces. Yeah, because the way that smaller. I put quilts together, sometimes they come together and they're not, I don't know, they mm -hmm. don't. Mm -hmm. The parts are more than the whole. You know, mm -hmm. usually it's the whole is more than the parts. Isn't mm -hmm. that the same? Right. Yep. But in this particular one, especially this Ooh, one, this is, yeah. these two are my favorites. Mm -hmm. I just love these. And so, you know, I cut them up, repurposed, moved buttons around on mm -hmm. them, did a different mm -hmm. binding. Um, you know, so they'll be in the shop. They'll be in oh, there when you hear my voice. Mm -hmm. wow. And then this one. And I think I, this has your the yeah. gift you gave Jackie. Right, so these are Jackie's wedding pajamas. <laughs> From her sister. That From was me. A very, um, yes. yes, anyways. And I love that fabric. It is the softest. The, the green right That here? green. Yeah, oh it God, is. I love it. I mean, it's pretty spectacular. And the buttons are beautiful. Mm -hmm. and this along the side is good. And then this, I gave this to you, didn't I? This. Yeah, anyways. I think so. Mm -hmm. I think you gave me the orange, yeah. too. Oh, and there's Poppy. So I think we'll stop for a while. This is a half hour, okay. and we'll regroup. Come All right, back. we might let my assistant in, and so it looks like we're going to make some pie. We're going to make some pie, and then we'll come back with works in progress. All right. All right, well, um, so on Pie Day, uh, March 14th, 3.14, I made some pies for to bring to school. 
And so I made a banana cream pie that day. And then I was like, I saw the recipe for chocolate cream pie at the bottom. And I thought, I wonder what that would taste like. I have and never, never tried it. Never tried it before. Which is um, crazy. We love chocolate. We do love chocolate. And so um and so it became you can you can no. come into the frame, Sally. Okay. It became like everybody just it was an instant classic. Oh, yes. I mean an instant classic. Because I had taken both pies, so I made a banana cream, made a chocolate cream pie, brought them both to school, and then one of my other teachers bought a Mexican chocolate cake. Thank goodness. Right? And so I was like, well, I'll just put my chocolate cream pie aside so that um, so that I can take it home because everybody was all uptight about the fact that I took both pies away. Oh, good. Our little assistant is going to come in. All right, little Miss Poppy is here to um, participate in pie making. She's so big now. Uh, anyway, so I will have the recipe. I actually like got it together and made a recipe um, that we'll have linked in here. So uh, I think this really only takes, I don't know, not very long. I well, mean, and tell everybody what we're intending to do. Oh, I know. So. You know, it was funny because I went to the store and I picked up, uh, I picked up one of these, you know, and I just don't do that. It's, I know, but it was so good. But it good. was yeah. really good. And so, um, my... I'd like to know that it's yeah, easy. Yes. Yes. You can make Oreos. Yeah, totally. You can I mean, make... don't they box the Oreo cookies? They do. Up? I haven't been able to find it. So, you know, I have these for um, the I garnish. I you kept it hidden this time. I moment. did. Um, the garnish, and uh, but you could, uh, and I actually would like to, but I'm not going to for the podcast. I'm going to use the pre-bought crust. But you can go online and find, you know, you just crumble up the, you know, separate the the middle oh, lily would love this because she likes the middle uh, yeah i hate the middle so we can so, have lily do the middle that's right and then, you know she could be an assistant that's right so um anyways and you just crumble it up and add a little bit of butter i think and pre-bake it uh, that doesn't take very long and it's um to me that that would be better but everybody's like no we really liked the pre-bought oreo crust so i'm going with that for mm -hmm. ease of um you know whatever. well and doesn't it feel good to know you just you know it does yeah and so this is essentially for any of you that maybe have watched my banana cream pie video it is essentially the same thing you're making chocolate pudding is what you're making um and then putting it into the pie and then having it chill overnight and so yeah because we can't eat it till tomorrow anyway right. right so there are some keys to this recipe so you're going to start off with um a cup one cup of granulated sugar and then you'll take um, three tablespoons of cornstarch um, I like Rumford but it's not particular and then more or less a pinch of salt so we use the coarse 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 kosher salt um, and so it's the Morton Cor kosher Morton kosher, kosher salt. salt say that five times fast mm -hmm. I mean there's a couple different kinds right so I, I'll go ahead and put this all together in just a minute, but I'm going to go over ingredients first. So you sort of start with that. And then the thing that I do is I take um, whole milk and I will take, and it's two and a half cups, and I'll put that in the microwave for about three minutes to get it warm, um, not boiling hot, but warm, uh, so that when I put it into the, into the pudding, uh, or in it, it doesn't take as it, long yeah, it just quickens faster. the mm -hmm. the pace and then um over here and then it you're gonna need farmer oh clip i know is, farmer clips so okay. we have um farm fresh eggs that we get delivered to our house if you have the ability um it's coming up on farmer's market time to get farm fresh eggs because this is a custard pie and so eggs make the difference. Eggs make all the difference. So get yourself some really good really fresh. Yeah. Yeah. Very fresh. Um, you know, 
organic or farm fresh um, eggs. So well, you know that the chickens are being taken care of well. You right. Know, and that's a big deal. It is. And, mm -hmm. you know, so these are just beautiful. And the yolks, I'll show you in a little bit, are just incredibly um, orange yellow. And so you're going to take um, six egg yolks. And so you'll, and I'll give you the instructions. You'll mix that all together. And then, um, and it'll thicken. And then once you're done, you add in three tablespoons of butter, just cubed up. So once it's pudding, you'll put in a little bit of butter. And then um, we use um, Penzi's Pure Vanilla Extract. Double strength. Double strength. Um, a tablespoon of that into um, into the mix, which... Um, it's becoming more and more of a... Ooh, a luxury good. Um, but it makes all the flavor it does, difference yeah, vanilla, in the world. You can make your own vanilla, You sure too. can. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Barefoot Contessa does that. And then the last piece is we're going to put in some Scharfenberger unsweetened chocolate. So it calls for four ounces. Um, this is a 9.7 ounce bar, or almost five ounce. I actually put in closer to five ounces. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to chop that all up and put it in at the end. And then... Uh, and then you'll grab your crust and you'll just scoop it in there. So I didn't realize it was unsweetened because it's so sweet. It is. It does. It's not too. Well, I mean, you have no. sugar in it. Right. Yeah. There's a but cup only of sugar. a cup of sugar. Right. Is you know, so it has yeah. that lovely rich chocolate. Mm -hmm. That was good. So and then you'll need some whipped cream to put over the top. So that's the ingredients. And then I'm going to take just a quick pause and we'll get set up to show you the actual cooking um, method. And then we'll see what happens. Well, we'll, we'll get see you if all Jackie the way to the home. end if we're trying to say, and maybe she'll put Caitlin in her suitcase, you know? Who knows? Right. Caitlin yeah. and James may just hook a ride. It's possible. Yep. Okay. All right. So we're going to reset up for the cooking time. Okay, we're Hi. Are we? Yes, we're on. Hi, we're on. All right, Poppy's making a little um, a little debut. All right, she's gonna hang around and help us do some cooking. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, actually make the pie. So I've got ingredients out. Um, so like I said, one cup of granulated sugar and one quarter teaspoon of uh, kosher salt and then three tablespoons of cornstarch. This is where Jackie goes crazy with me because I'm like, yeah, oh, that's pretty close. Um, let's go well, I would think in cornstarch had to be leveled. But... You don't. Okay. Um, I mean, have you eaten any of my pies? Yes, have I have. Have you enjoyed them? I have. This You're is right. the way I always make them. Okay. okay. They're on. So, uh, so there's that. And then utensils that you're going to want to have. So I have a nice deep, um, I don't know, eight quart um, saucepan. You probably wouldn't need that much. Uh, a nice big whisk, and I'm gonna turn this on, turn the stove on to medium. So I just have, you know, dry ingredients in here. I'm gonna kind of whisk this around and just let it heat up a smidget, not much. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna put two and a half cups of the whole milk in, and I'm actually doubling this, so, um, Goody. I know, so that there are two pies because there's a lot of love for this pie. And like I said, I'm gonna stick this in the microwave for three minutes. Well, um, Heron didn't actually get any of these because he was in color or Arizona. Uh, he was in Vegas. In Vegas, yeah. climbing. He was, so he didn't get any. So I'm gonna heat this up um, so you can- Now the milk is warming up, uh, the dry ingredients are warming up just a little bit and I'm gonna get the egg yolks ready. So it's six egg yolks that go in and so I just crack open my beautiful eggs and this you know everybody's got their own method to do it but oh, do you have to separate them yeah you have to separate them out and then remember this I don't know if you can see this little there's a name for it somebody found it yeah before. it was on one of our yep. comments on so the podcast. it's like this little thing that sticks off so I get rid of that and just drop it in I don't know if you can see just oh, how yeah. beautiful beautiful and yellow that is. So I'm going to do six of those and 
and then we'll just have that ready and waiting. So you wanna make sure that you do that before you get the milk uh, added in to the cornstarch mixture because once that's sort of warm and ready to go, you're gonna to wanna to be ready for that. So once again, I'm pinching off this little, uh, these little squiggly things that come along the side. So somebody tell us what the squiggly things are again. Right, yeah, because I've forgotten. So. Then meanwhile, Poppy's down there. She's curious and interested in what we're doing, but I realize, um, you know, she can't have any of this because it's going to be chocolate. So That's right, but she said I'd all. have the eggs if you she, want. Yeah, she sure mm -hmm. would have the eggs. So, all right. So, Sally, do you want to see my little assistant down here? I wish you guys could see her from my vantage point. She's just down here with her little ball right below the stove, looking up at me going, Mama, I'm here. Yes, it's always a little bit, you have to remember that when you're cooking with hot liquids. That's right. Is being aware, so. Indeed, all right, so I have, um, again, the one cup of granulated sugar, three tablespoons cornstarch, um, one quarter teaspoon of salt in here, kind of warming up and then two and a half cups of whole milk. Um, and again, I'm doubling the recipe, so that's why this looks more, okay? And then... That's so in case Caitlin and James pop up. That's right, then there's mm -hmm. some. Mm -hmm. And so, anyway, so I'll just stir this all in. It's really important to kind of get into the edges of the pan so that when... Uh, so that you don't have the cornstarch mix mixture in there. So I'm just, you know, just stirring this around and I'm just gonna let it get, um, and because I've microwaved the milk already, it's not gonna take too much um, for me to get this. That magic point where it just thickens. Oh my. Right, well that mostly happens with the, with the eggs in there. Mm -hmm. so oh, right, that's right, the milk doesn't do it, it's the eggs. The milk doesn't do it, it's the eggs. Oh, can we make a statement about, people will wonder. Oh, right, yes, so um, so I have all the egg yolks in here, uh, whipped them all together like this, and there are, um, well, six egg whites, times two, but six eggs, egg whites left over, and so, if you're Sally, what are you going to do with those oh, egg whites? Oh, I am going to make an absolutely delicious angel food cake that I love. And it takes, I think, 12 egg whites. So it's just the perfect combination. What I have sitting over there. So oh, thank you. And knows. I think if anybody in my um, stories or my posts in my Sally Journey Quilts Instagram, I believe you'll see a picture of an angel food cake. And I think I put the recipe in there. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's a delicious recipe and very easy. And now I have a dog laying on my feet, <laughs> so, which is entirely it's, it's adorable. adorable. Indeed. So cooking with Poppy. So again, it doesn't take very much. You really don't want to get this um, like scaldy or anything. Well, like and that. just so people understand, we are aware that it's a hazard to have a dog at your feet when you're cooking. Yes. But, but those of cute. you that have a lab or any kind of a dog that likes food as much as she does, you know it's difficult. It's also her dinner time. So it is. She's here to remind And me we're both watching. That it's her dinner time. So then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take my egg yolk mixture. Yep, move her she's out of the way. Moved, yep. And Sally, you're probably going to want to come so that you can look um, down from above. So, okay. so here's, here's the mixture and I'm just going to very slowly start pouring the egg yolk in and stirring, whisking as I go. And so, you know, but you, you want to make sure that you don't put so much in at a time because you don't want to have scrambled eggs in your milk. And that happens. It does happen, and then you're putting curdles, and it's mm -hmm. terrible. But you so that's have. why I, you know, microwave the milk three to four minutes, um, usually about three if I'm just doing two and a half cups. So and that, you're not trying to do something else. No. This is not a, a procedure you can do something else nope. and come back to. No. Nope. You have to stay on it. Okay. And then, to be quite honest, it actually calls for five egg yolks, but I put six in so I don't have to scrape out the bowl during this very 
important time. So then I'm trying to make sure that I'm whisking all around. And once it gets to the right temperature, which is pretty soon after, you're going to feel the shift in the mixture that you've got in front of you. And I'm not sure if you can just see how beautiful oh, and yellow. It's gorgeous. I mean, the eggs are just so magnificent. Yep, here it comes. It's starting to make that shift into a more thick and it just sort of happens all at once. And then what I do is switch. Yep, there it is. Um, and all of a sudden you've got pudding. And I'm going to switch to a spatula because I find Yeah, because it's, it's starting super, to bubble. Look at that. Yep, it's, and I'm going to turn it down just a little bit and I'm going to get that spatula. Oh, is that beautiful? Isn't it just? And that. Because yeah, you don't want to scorch. You just really don't want to scorch. So you're going to put it down on low, low heat and just get everything mixed around and let it just bubble just a little bit. And so this has totally thickened. Well, and you're cooking on a gas range. I'm cooking on a gas range. If you're on electric, I you just have to move it, right? You can't. I, I guess, yeah. So I'm now gonna turn it off. So you see those beautiful bubbles. Oh, that are I love happening. that. And it's delicious. This is vanilla. Have you put the vanilla in? I have not. Oh. Nope. So, so I'm gonna say this is regular pudding. Yep, so this is pudding. So I have, um, so you're gonna wanna put three tablespoons of butter cubed uh, into the mixture here. And you just drop it in, and again, I'm doubling it so, um, <laughs> so that they're, uh, so that everybody comes out of this experience alive, I think is really what that's all about. Well, we want to make sure that Jackie has some when she gets home. We sure do. I don't know what time her plane is arriving tomorrow. We'll find right. out as needed. So there's the butter, and then uh, there is a single... Ooh. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm going to put this on pause when we open get... the vanilla. Woo! That yeah. was uh, crazy. So, okay. So brand I got this bottle. brand new bottle. Um, I just put it under hot water and tapped it. So again, one tablespoon um, for a single recipe and I'm making a double. So I'm just going to drop that in. Oh, just. Oh, it smells so good. It smells unbelievable. It's so good. Yeah, that's too bad that podcasts don't have a little bit of scratch and sniff or whatever I those. Know. Yeah. So then I'm going to bring this, I'm going to dump my butter sort of in here uh, for right now. And it's, and just kind of mix this around and the butter will melt inside. Oh, the yummy, yum. And then I need to get over here and get the chocolate. So that's another thing that I would probably have done already is have the chocolate already sort of cut up, but I'm going to show you how to do that and um, have that chocolate already, already put together. So again, my heat's off, so I'm just going to leave those little pieces of butter to mix up. All right, and Sally, if you want to come over this direction. So again, I'm using Scharfenberger unsweetened fine dark chocolate. You can use other varieties, but again, uh, the difference is ingredients. So yeah, and there's a lot of really gorgeous chocolate. Yes. So, you know, play around. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I'm just gonna, so this is almost a 10 ounce bar. And so such I'm a just pretty. going to, you know, open these up and just sort of get them into smaller pieces and it doesn't have to be anything amazing because the heat's going to do a lot of the work for you here but it is just absolutely gorgeous and so this really is the showstopper here um, having having the chocolate having this dark rich unsweetened, unsweetened. unsweetened chocolate so this is the chocolate we use for the family favorite birthday oh, cake. Oh, yes, indeed. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm just going to drop this into the mixture like so. And get all this magnificent. 
magnificent chocolate in here. All right, sorry about those extra sounds. Well, we also got the basketball ourselves. Oh, we do. All right, excellent. Okay, and so then our chocolate is going to have an opportunity to get in here just like the butter. It's going to just do its own thing, melting because. So the, it melts pretty easily. Otherwise, oh, it you sure could have, does. Right. Like I microwave that for a few oh, seconds. I, yeah, or, I wouldn't microwave. But the no, you don't I just it. cut it up into smaller pieces. Mm -hmm is what I would do if right. I to go faster. Oh, and normally you would have this. What would you do, Poppy? Do you have a different idea? Poppy wouldn't put chocolate in it because then she can't oh, have Oh, that's any. what she's telling us. Yeah, she goes, if you put chocolate in it, Mom, I can't have any. Oh, look at that color change. Oh, my God, that's gorgeous. It's just getting darker and darker and darker and just... And this is basically it, isn't it? This is basically it. So once Very I can doable. feel all that chocolate... Um, and I have to say, someday, like maybe for my birthday, I'd like to have one of your amazing regular pie crusts with this. Oh, yeah. Because I love So chocolate. just a flour crust that's yeah, regular pre-baked. Pre so you would just take a, yeah, a regular crust and pre-bake it in the oven mm -hmm. and bring that out instead of having a cookie crust or graham cracker yeah, crust. Yeah, that would be my preferred. Even with banana cream, right. and you never do that for me either. I don't do that. But for maybe for my birthday. It's possible. June. I do love you. I know you anything do. Anything is possible. Right. And I'm going to quick look on the clock here and go, we started this about 20, under, under 25 minutes ago. And we do know it's your dinner time and we will get to that very yeah. soon. And so I just feel like just a little bit more of a piece in here. So I'm going to let that sort of oh can can you just can you see mm, yeah i want to look the pan <laughs> the magnificence and the reason and why knowing I, joe he'll probably come in right when it's time to clean up to clean up well mm -hmm. not to clean up to, but to lick, yeah lick yeah well that's what items. i was i was being facetious right absolutely so um so anyways so we have our beautiful and honestly, these pie crusts are delicious. It makes a beautiful presentation. They, they actually are quite, quite delicious. Uh, and so... And you didn't have a hard time finding those in a regular grocery no, store. No, not at all. All right, so the hard part is, is that this is heavy. And so I'm just going to come over here. Get your sleeve in, okay. Just pour. And that. I think I'll just take the picture of just that one. Unless you think we should go to the second one. I suppose as long as I'm here. But there you go. And that's it. And then what happens to these now? These go into the refrigerator, preferably overnight. So look, there's a little bit to... Um, okay, well, I'm going to say, lift. how about if we say goodbye? So, so. hold on one okay. second. You know, I'm going <laughs> to smooth that out just a little bit. And... And there we go. So Beautiful. we'll go ahead and put those in overnight. And then uh, we'll show you what to do on the last segment. But uh, this will come out quite hard. And then we usually make homemade whipped cream and uh, swirl that. We'll cut a piece out, swirl that, and then grab an Oreo cookie and sit that on the top. So we'll, we'll come back together and we'll... Um, We'll take a sample. Way to go, Jamie. All right. Okay. Hope enjoy. Look at this little cutie. This is Poppy waiting for dinner. Poppy does all right. Okay. There she goes. Wow. That was fun. And I know. And it really literally took under 30 minutes. So, it did. Um, and and then it's you just... have a, just like a dessert that will wow it is wow and then there was a little bit left in the pan yeah. so it was pretty darn good chocolate pudding yeah too. We, well we had to taste it just we in did. case so yeah. you know we had a little bit of pudding. okay all right so Sa wow sally so what do you got here what's what's next well the next thing is i'd like to just i'm going to go through this quickly i have what i have in progress to go um i made a i had i mean i have way more circles than i've used 
And so I put a bunch of them on backings and I'm making the single blocks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That one's complete. I'll probably have some buttons added to these because mm -hmm. I think that's really cool on these. I'll let you just... Okay. Um, so these are going to be just sold singly like that and they'll be embellished a little bit. But I haven't chosen mm -hmm. the bindings yet, which make a big difference. Oh, it sure does. So, Ooh, that's pretty. I know, it's not funny. Mm -hmm. And that's a really pretty vintage mm -hmm. uh, fabric. Right. And that's one that you brought me. It was that little black and white oh, kind of. Yeah. Hey. That but, feels a little more wintry to me. But, mm -hmm. um, well, I mean, I, pink. it's been Anything snowing. Anything with pink, typically. Yeah, look at the back. You know, look. Lily and Jackie just get all over. Mm -hmm. It's hard to get anything with pink in it out the door. Yeah, well, I'm going to put these I in know. the shop. So, yes, you know. for sure. My little darlings mm -hmm. have already got... I love got... that little red and white and blue Oh, I do too. Pattern. See, these are still... I mean, every one of them, they're so fun. And the back mm -hmm. has got that Italian shirt on it. And then this is... The back of this one is Megan's from the Chocolate Goddess from oh, Madison Chocolate. right. It's a blouse she gave me. And then nice. this one is so pretty. I love the yellows. Mm -hmm. And it has that vintage fabric on the back. Mm-hmm. Which I've talked about Very many beautiful. times. So I've been trying to do like the mm -hmm. modern and the right. And I'll just quickly talk about that. I I have been making so many quilts this past year, year and a half, that um, I have an enormous fabric stash. Enormous. Well, enormous. You know, but mm -hmm. but still, when I went in and I was trying to find yellows, for instance, yeah, that you know the the yardage is really dwindling, and I I just. Um, it's not like I want to hoard fabric, but I was taken with this particular, it's, I'm giving a shout out to a new fabric source, and this is um, Lake Makery, and they're from Minneapolis on, mm. did I say Chicago Avenue? Mm -hmm. Anyway, Jamie doesn't write, and I, it's new to us. Jamie used to live in the Twin Cities, mm -hmm. and so she and I knew that was when I was first quilting, and she, you know, the highlights of my trips up there were trips to fabric stores. This one I've never heard of, so I think it's new, it's mm -hmm. new since you moved back. Sure. But anyway, I'm just going to flash uh, quickly. Um, I went in to get some yellows. Um, I don't know if you can. This way. Yeah, you might as well. Some gorgeous new fabrics. Some of these will be coming. Yeah, I mean, you can just take them apart and show just, they're beautiful. That's the backing of them. And, and this, mm -hmm. I think, is a cake faucet. And I love fabrics. Don't you love that yes. one with the lines the on it? topography looking. Mm -hmm. And then this mm -hmm. was so beautiful. Oh, yes. I needed some green. So these are all previews. You'll see these. Yeah, I just want to show I'm not just into vintage fabrics. I also, and I just buy a half yard for the most part. Mm -hmm. And they were having this sale that was just delightful. This is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, and that's another that one of those. just a different color. It's like, what, a gray? Yeah. Corn? But they had oh. such a beautiful selection. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. So that's... Um, Very pretty. And then this is a back, and this is a fabric that I believe and is... And so you just bought these online? I did. I just bought them online, and then this one down. Oh, oh and then wow. that one is... That's a from lot. that's oh. from Circa Fabrics. This that's one. a vintage. I think it's a 1950s. That's beautiful. I love that. Anytime I can find a fabric that has like the line design mm -hmm. in it, and how to describe it, but those daisies in there and the leaves, it's all that black and white. Mm -hmm. I beautiful. love it. That one will go far. And then this is a backing fabric so that it's it's wider than normal, um, and it's a double oh, wide. Oh, and it's like. Does it have satin, silk in it's it? It's a cotton satin. satin. Yeah. yeah gorgeous. That's beautiful. And that was like, honestly, I'd like too. pajamas out I of would, this. too. Ooh. Is that beautiful? But there's yeah. not enough for that. It was the there, end of the bolt. Oh, there aren't any? There isn't any No, this was the last of it. That's why it was so, yeah, okay. so inexpensive. All right. And then these two, which I've already started using on my mm -hmm. knee. Yeah. yeah on those waves. are gorgeous Japanese fabrics. Mm -hmm. And they're textured. Yes. They're very, they feel linen -y or And then this... Is uh, what I wanted to show you here was what I work off of. After I started getting so busy with all these circles and I was using wedges, I found this site. Um, I'll have to um, tag them in my podcast. Uh, they don't have any more of these, so I feel kind of 
like you're showing like showing I'm showing off. something and you know but mm -hmm. and so I there's really no but it, it's a bright, well I'm sure they exist they'd like other yeah an Etsy shop yeah I mean right. just go and so that's the Dresden plate and that's oh the the Dresden can't get good Vanna White help these isn't days it gorgeous? right you know I mean I have about I went back and I ordered you know they're not inexpensive but they're also not you know like mm -hmm. look at the rabbit on there right i know i was gonna say there's because that was the rabbit the very first quilt i sold when i opened my etsy mm -hmm. shop this last time mm -hmm. was the little block with the rabbit on it yeah so i've been searching for that fabric sure but anyway so it's fun you can see the um yeah there's um, just a lot of different varieties. a lot of different varieties of fabric and so mm -hmm. i'm going to try to make a quilt where i'm using Okay. It's okay. I am just feel like I'm off the side. Okay. Here. No, we're good. In here, I love you. Um, I just get so, like, I am so excited about this. Okay, well, let's This let's idea, get to well, it. I just want to yeah. say this idea, and then I'm going to, you know, because I showed, you can show them that placed on there. And I have mm -hmm. several of these. And I have, in my buying on Etsy, I have several other types of blocks, you know, mm -hmm. like... I, I'll show them sometime. But anyway, they're a future use. Uh-huh. Um, no more, babe. Oh, goodness. I'm going to make quilts with those mm -hmm. things is basically what I'm trying to say. Okay, so then the next thing I want to do is show you a little bit. We can just, um, you know, these are some of the, I, I should just wait until I actually use these, but this is what. You probably should. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, they're just. So you've got a lot of circles. And I'm I gonna, have. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go. You've got a lot of circles. I have a lot now. of circles and each one is and like a child. I love them. I know. You're so okay. cute know, about that. I I love like, them. Yes. But anyway, so I'm going to just quickly show you what's in the hopper. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to go deal with the baby while you show the hopper. Okay. This is an in process, almost done. I have only a little bit of quilting to do. But this shows you basically what my quilts look like before they get quilted. And they're um, just gorgeous. That backing is great, Mom. This is a Circa Fabrics. Mm -hmm. That's a vintage. Um, and are those easy to find? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These are easy and they're relatively inexpensive. Um, they're still available to us. And I think it's it's just kind of exciting. I, I have more than I can use now, so I'm not going to probably be getting any, I mean, I say okay. that. Okay, and I'm gonna come over here and um, peanut butter bomb the podcast. Oh, yes. If you haven't, like, learned this and you have a dog. Oh, my God. This is a, a lake pad changer. and it, like, totally calms down your dog. So this is just a little bit of peanut butter. So when you're trying to do a podcast, for instance, and your dog is digging on the bottom freezer because okay. we store bones in there, and she thinks, oh, you guys are busy, so I'm going to let you know that I need attention. And it just calms her right down. Yeah. But anyway, so this, <laughs> this won't take me very long. I'll have this oh, in the shop within mm -hmm. a couple of days. It's a sister to the earlier yeah. one. Oof, look, at, look at that. I'm getting it's allergic to something. beautiful. Anyways, yeah, it's, it's quite beautiful. All right, what else you got? And then there? I have, I can't remember whether we showed, this one is, oh, it big. doesn't have a back on it, so just use half of it. It's a, oh, I don't yeah. even know, it's a five by six. It's very oh, large. Let me try to show the whole thing here. I haven't figured out what batting to, or backing to use yet, mm -hmm. so it's just on the but I love that. That's so going to be a larger scale piece. Yeah, I like to when I'm doing all these. I like to work in. I like to have something mm -hmm. because I find with a lot of these little things, they just get more dynamic the more you put together. Oh yeah, mom, this is Isn't that incredible. gorgeous. I love yeah. it. I love it. So that I'll be working on is I'm I'm going to pick that one up as soon as I figure out what the batting is going to be the or the backing. backing um, mm -hmm. I will start quilting on that. But yeah, I have, and that one you really got to see from far. Oh, yeah. It's, oops. Oops. Just had a little camera malfunction. Yeah, all right, it's here. all that chocolate. We're just getting a little be. bit excited. We're... Okay, so I've only got three more quilts to show you that are in process. These are my, what I do when I'm, that's connected. Oh, all right. Um, I have about three or four things that I'm actually stitching on. This was some 
uh, silk remnants mm. that I got through Circa yes. Fabrics. See that shimmer? Yeah. So I just, you know, I, I had, through the process of doing all these quilts, I end up with a lot of leftover pieces mm -hmm. just hanging on my... Oh, and I just love how you have, like, you keep this circle motif going here. Yeah. I was started to quilt on that, and I thought, no, I need to mm -hmm. have really think about that one. Mm -hmm. And then I had, um, oh, this is the one that I am, in my heart, I'm having, like, so much fun with. I started, um, a, well, I, start, I went upstairs to, while I was cleaning my fabrics, I, I took a couple of days during spring break, didn't I? Oh, mm -hmm. that was right. You were home for a week taking care of Poppy, and you, I was allowed the freedom of just being up in my room, and my room was in just chaos because of not having any time to do anything about it. And so I got, I, I just, you know how we are like this as makers. Mm -hmm. It felt so good. I got so much done, and just putting fabric away. There's no bunches of fabric that aren't mm -hmm. where they belong now. Mm -hmm. and, you know, so what that does when I start separating my scraps, and I had this happen to me before, I start getting excited about making, um, you know, colors. Just little quilts. vignettes and color. You know, like these were blocks of blue and, you know, this is all I, I had gotten orange and yellow and red and blue was all I'd gotten and then it was time to go on to something else. So I didn't get into green and purple and all that, but I will. So just so those were seeds yeah. of ideas. Yeah, they were laying up on my desk. And I had a particularly awesome group of circles from a particularly yummy little... I'm, I'm going to show you what the difference is between some of the other circles. Um. What it is, when you see this circle, this is like Grandma Johnson's work. Mm -hmm. It was sewn down on its muslin base. So mm -hmm. the quilt, you know, it was a, like the, the, um, the dress and plate that right I showed here? you. I can't see. It's the, this part it's right this here. part right yep. here. Mm -hmm. So when I cut the circle, I incorporated part of that because mm -hmm. what it does is it has the top stitching of when she turned under the edges, her mm -hmm. top stitching, that little oh, white right. stitching, mm -hmm. that's the quilter. That's the 1930s quilter, just like Grandma Johnson. So it's contemporary. In here underneath, so you can kind of see it intermingled with Sally's. No, it's usually, it's right, it's like I don't usually go over it. It's right along the... Um, it's right along here on any of these. You'll see it's right along that edge. It's just very subtle, but when oh. you see it up close, you'll see her stitches. Well, and that's the applique. I'm not sure that I can get it, but it's, it's okay. right but just along believe here. Believe me, it's there. Mm -hmm. The little white stitches are hers. And I always had referred to those in Grandma Johnson's when I was doing my great-great-grandmother's. It was so touching to me that I was stitching alongside her stitches. And I feel honored to be doing the same thing with this quilter. Because she, this quilter, um, I have many of, that's what those Dresden plates are from. And she was really an artist. I mean, her color choices and her fabrics and the way she lined them up. Mm -hmm. You know, some of those quilts are just, you know, in my opinion, yeah. But her quilt was just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Her start to a quilt, I nice. should say. Mm -hmm. So anyway, and then I went up, and I, for some odd reason, in the process of cleaning out stuff, I had a piece of Japanese vintage, probably from the 30s, you know, same era, um, piece of fabric with a mend in it, and it was just laying there. And I looked at it, and I go, oh, my God, that's, you know, because I'm always looking for, what square to put underneath these because it really pops them out in a different way. And I thought, what nicer way to show these off than to put them on, you can show them again, mm -hmm. put them on this vintage um, indigo mm -hmm. uh, cotton fabric that, you know, that just happened to be there. And the one in the center here is the one that has men's in it. It's right there in the, yeah. That one right. has where this, this the center square. I got 
most of them put on there and then I had one more one more of my circles that I wanted to put on mm -hmm. and right the only there. piece that was left was one that was badly mended I mean it was nicely mended but it was mm -hmm. all kinds of patchwork and I love that about the old Japanese textiles because they mended their clothes mended and so a lot of these are pieces from old and clothing. isn't that interesting your perspective because somebody else might look at that and go that's no good because it's, it's got a mend in it and yeah, it's I mean, ripped. it has the salvage edge showing and right and they're bumped up and there's i don't know if you can and see. so it all look at that one see that right right yeah. and it it just i mean this is the treasure it. you get when you look closely at right these and if you take it as such it's kind of like that is it wabi sabi or the yeah. idea of the you know the crack? Um, mm -hmm. Was it in Japan where they used to yeah, fill in the cracks fill in with the gold? Crack. Mm -hmm. You know that that's what makes it beautiful. Well, they're so wise. They just did so much. We you know not just throwing things out. They you mm -hmm. know and that's so many of these clothes have men's in them. I mean, I have a little quilt that you know when I right. find I mean, a like, mend. This is it. what, you know, like, who wore this? Who are I all know, the, the people There's so our much family because members. it's not only me, but it's the who wore this. And probably you're right. It went down through many people. Mm -hmm. who, who made this quilt block? Right. And then when I was up there and I, st I just basted the circles on top of this indigo, and I was like, oh, my God, I love that. Mm -hmm. And I still had, you know, my little... These all laying. So tell me about the corner. These two corner pieces that don't. Well, that's have what I'm getting to. Them. They were part of this. Okay. You know, and so was so I had my. You know, I had made about, I think four oranges, four reds, four yellows, and there were five blues. And they happened to be. I play this game with myself, and it's called make a quilt, and I'll show it on this one too, with just what you have on your desk. Mm -hmm. You know, when I've been in the throngs of making a lot of stuff, I have interesting little things on my desk or stuff, you know, but it's not, it's not like digging into a basket or digging into a tub or pulling a, a fabric pull. It's what is on my desk. And so these things were sitting there and I was going to make rainbows out of them. Mm -hmm. But these... So these, yeah. these kinds of things. And what was so cool is when the... When those blocks with the circles fell down on these, because I had laid them out in a pattern and mm -hmm. I was thinking about it and then went away, when I came back and I just laid down, by accident, laid those little blocks down on there and I went, my God, I could never make a border for those squares that had that intricacy that they get by just laying on top of an already pieced mm -hmm. block. And since I've already done that with my white on white quilt with the hexagon, mm -hmm. you know, the flower gardens on top, I decided to do the same thing with these. And so the way I look at it is not it's layers. So there's layers of story in those, but even layers of fabric here because you know, these little squares are put on top of an already existing square. So when you think about it, there's other pieces of fabric and design underneath there. Mm -hmm. And it's like we are, you know, we have layers inside of us that people don't see. Right. You know, and that's what this quilt is all about is the, you know, it's covering up. Mm -hmm. it's what am I going to show the world what is going to be forward what is going to be hidden and you know and then when I got done with this and we have a I absolutely love the texture of what was happening on this quilt so because I didn't have enough blocks to make a nine patch which is what this mm -hmm. is is a traditional nine patch and quilters know that's like the basic absolute basic I suppose a four patches even but it mm -hmm. means nine squares and you know cut up like that and so I just filled in with the um, blues that were lying there mm -hmm. and so got that sewn together started quilting it and then lo and behold I get this absolutely gorgeous load of fabric come in the mail I look at it and you know because you never know when you're buying something online but oh my god this little um, I think it's a clan 
clamshell is what that mm -hmm. pattern is. For the bordering? Yeah, it's this lovely, thick, it's gorgeous. And I put that on there and I just loved what happened because it's honoring the old Japanese fabric. It's a mm -hmm. new Japanese sure. fabric, but it honors the old. Mm -hmm. And then also the backing is a beautiful, bright right. yellow. Uh -huh. So anyway, so I'm in the process of doing that. And in the process of doing that, I'm trying to explain how this just, I mean, this is how my life is. I go upstairs and I go, oh my goodness, there are still pieces left over. Oh, yes. And so those pieces are left over. And I start, what really had me going was this particular. Oh, really? Because I'm like, look at that. That just looks like a branch. And oh, I know. Well, I had that cut because I was going to use that. That's a little um, Cape Cod shibbery, I think mm -hmm. it's um, dyer that I love. Oh, and I had a package of it. It is so good. Yeah, she's incredible. So I had that little moon. I was going to put that with this quilt. And mm -hmm. when I started putting it with the quilt, it just didn't work. And mm -hmm. so I had that little patch just lying there. Right. But no, it was this that started it, this strip. Oh, okay, sure. And then I had a strip of that left over from the binding. Mm -hmm. And then it's kind of like, oh, and then I have one of those blocks of, you know, and that goes with that. And they just start. You know, it was in a different configuration when I first brought it down. Mm -hmm. And then I, I just, I don't know how to explain it, but I mean, I think this is important for people that are learning to quilt, is to just play, play, and have fun. make something bigger than what you want it to be. Try it. It's only fabric. You can just cut it up, talk, you know, move it around, sew it down a different way. Um, I'm learning some techniques to make sure that I, you know, that are a little bit crisper um, in how I, you know, I make sure that I line up my rulers when I'm putting these things together. But, you know, that quilt just reeks color theory, you know, but also what's going on with that moon. Um, you know, it's just going to be gorgeous. So that was fun. Backing, you can show mm -hmm. the backing real quick. Is oh, a mm -hmm. Liberty of London, which I love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's in the hopper for me, and those will be yeah. coming later. Um, I wanted to say again how grateful I am for all of you, and for your wonderful support of my quilting. Yeah. Because, I mean, I'm going to do it anyway, but I have to say it just thrills me when people take these into their home and the comments that come back because it just feels so good and then when I see I'm watching podcasters or I'm you know people will send me pictures of quilts in their home but it's just like these sneak peeks into people's environments that go like oh my god you know I mean just There's, today yeah you brought flowers to to our dear friend Lisa and she sent the picture of the flowers and there on her wall was the quilt I gave her for this Christmas, mm -hmm. and you had a picture of Megan showing, you know, on her Madison chocolate, and I see in the background the quilt I gave her many long years ago, and it just fills me because it shows that they're doing what they're supposed to do, which mm -hmm. is carry on the love and the story. Right. So, yep. but I wanted to show you one of the people that got a couple of little quilts. Her name is Deb. She made these, and it says on the back that she made it in 2019. In March, right? Isn't that March of 2019? I think so, yeah. As pre-pandemic? Yeah. But anyway, beautiful. it's just beautiful, isn't it? I and mean, it's that yarn that's Yes, just, it's a weaving. It's oh, just it's beautiful. Weaving, yeah. And I thought, how sweet to send... With some little bejewels. Yeah. So she thanked me for the quilt and how much mm -hmm. she loved them. Mm -hmm. And it was just so... Because I made a mistake on hers and I felt bad. But, mm -hmm. but we won't go into right. that. It's fine. We're right. both very happy. Yeah. And so, it's just beautiful to exchange our creative gifts. Oh, I know. I love this. I just have it I by know. me. I would never think of that. Well, and look it's it. just I mean, it's beautiful. Just, I look at it and I go like, my God, it looks so pretty with my threads. You mm -hmm. know, do you see that? Oh, yeah. That's yeah, just gorgeous. So. so, yeah. So I have right. it around me just reminding me about how mm -hmm. fun it is to share. My creative arts are making pies. Making pies, which so you're you'll very see nice the about. beautiful version of that at the mm -hmm. end here as it as we get to tomorrow. Right. right. 
and Sally puts fabric together and yarn mm -hmm. and beautiful things. And we can't wait to see what the Caddy Jacks ladies are up to. Oh, I am so excited because we've got knit collage going on. Mm -hmm. I mean, the yarn, I mean, Jackie doesn't know, but yarn has come in since she's been gone. So Right. She's and then the other piece yeah, is ahead. like Caitlin's flowers. Like oh, also the color that's come in mm -hmm. with the flowers that Caitlin's been, mm -hmm. you know, bringing into oh, her. I know. Feed and, and her house. Yes, beautiful. I am so proud of her, and I just, you know, mm -hmm. I miss her so much, but it's clear that this was the right move for her. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we look forward to visiting at some point I here. Think, so. I think so. I yeah. think it's like we go down a road trip down yeah. there, all of us. Mm -hmm. Just got to get little Miss Poppy mm -hmm. settled. So she's still over there, just happy as can yeah, be. Yeah, she's still working on the, you know, so mm -hmm. just, if you don't have one of those. Yeah, for sure. So yes. anyways, uh, yeah, she's almost 10 months old now. So it's hard to believe she's just about a full grown Labrador and mm -hmm. just doing fabulous. So, mm -hmm. so and the other thing I want to say, because of course, you know, we talked about all this lightness is we know that there are people that you know recently our whole other side of the family came down with covid so we know there's that's still out there we you know we do our testing and and uh, cross our fingers and and all that stuff but for those of you that are still you know are suffering from that we send you our love and we've you know we've gotten through to this far ourselves I know. all of us together and and I think I speak for most of us, like, uh, you know, I, I'm so eager for it to be over mm -hmm. and yet here it still is. And mm -hmm. so, um, you right. Know. And then also, you know, it goes without saying, but it doesn't go without saying how incredibly sad it is, um, that we have Ukraine being just ripped apart and the images that are coming out of there. And mm -hmm. Jamie posted it was beautiful. That was beautiful. That it was, and I don't know the singers. Uh, it was an Italian singer and a and a Ukrainian singer, and they were performing at a Italian football something. Um, and it just came into my feed. And these two women were dressed in all white, and they walked out to the center of the field, mm -hmm. and they held each, you know, one hand. They faced each other and held one hand and then had their other hands holding their microphones and sang uh, Imagine by mm -hmm. John Lennon and, oh. you know, as a duet back and forth and to each other. And you could see those soccer players, the tears. It was, it just, was yeah. incredible. Yeah. I just, I watched that. And that song has always been such an incredible song. But, mm -hmm. um, but just in this, in this time, in this mm -hmm. moment, to see mm -hmm. these two women um, just embody um the spirit of that was yeah. really quite something yeah. so if i can find that i'll i don't know how to link but i'll try to figure it out because it was it was moving yeah. it really mm -hmm. was quite something so so let's pray for peace and this you know mm -hmm. what can we say but hold your family dear hold your friends your family the world we're all in here together and you know being together we get through it mm -hmm. so and spring, mm -hmm. spring, spring is, is coming for in this part of the world, especially for. Well, it's I funny suppose. when you yeah you know, when you've got so many Australians on here. And well, like, it's fall in Australia. Yeah, no, right? I know. So fall is still beautiful. It is. Um, yeah, you know, we're on the other side of winter, and thank goodness, although it snowed yesterday, so mm -hmm. that was too yeah. much. Anyways. It's been fun. I'm yeah. not normally on here, so... I'm just you know. so happy. I love that you're here. This was great. Mm -hmm. So, love to all of you, and we will continue to, you know, all the rest of the family is fine here, and, yeah. and we'll be back. All right. Bye. Bye. Good morning. Good morning. Here we are, the day after. Yes, it's, it's Sunday, and we have already had... Um, someone come through the house that said, oh, I'll take pie now. Surprise visit from Heron, who mm -hmm. you all got to meet on the last podcast or maybe a podcast or two mm -hmm. ago. Anyways, um, I am going to show you the finished version and then I'll sort of backtrack. So here is 
This is a way to wow your friends. Yes, chocolate cream pie. And so just to backtrack a little, one thing that I left out of the instructions was you should immediately put um, some uh, cling wrap over the top. It keeps it from getting a, um, a, I don't know, like a, yeah, like a film or something yeah. on it. Everybody that does right. putting notes. So then, Some people even like the scum or the right. the late. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so here is the um, finished looking pie. Some people like to put the whipped cream on right away. I find that it doesn't hold. So if you're going to, um, I think it's better. Um, well, I think if you're going to wow your audience, um, like bringing it to something, you know. Yes. Always wait until the last moment. Right. And so, um, so we have one of these little fancy whipped cream things um, because we both worked in restaurants and found that that's really nice. Um, these take little nitrous oxide cartridges and you just take a nice um, heavy whipping cream. So our two favorites around here would either be Sassy Cow or Organic Valley. Put a little powdered sugar in it. And then pop it in your container. And we always have to say that these are the ingredients, the ones that you taste the most are the things like the heavy whipping cream. And mm -hmm. so if you can get local, organic, really yummy cream, that's something not to skimp on. And you can get the ready whip can and just go. Yeah, if, you know, that's true. So that absolutely works. Mm -hmm. And so I pulled, you know, just a piece of the straight up pie. Uh, and so for any of you that might not like whipped cream, um, there you go. I also... Now, is this a gluten-free? Is this gluten-free? But we don't uh, know about Oreos. Oreo, the Oreo crust is not, but the pudding. But the pudding, pudding is. You could the, just eat the pudding. Yeah, that's a nice, friendly the, thing for your guests. Right. So I took uh, some... So you're going to want uh, Oreo for the garnish and then also some Oreos to, you know, just sort of crush up uh, for the topping. So, and you could use some shaved chocolate too if you wanted. Yeah, you, you sure know. could, shaved chocolate. So then, you know, just... That's the funnest thing. Our teen loves this. Yes. Just... It made getting through a pandemic with, you know, hot chocolates. It was quite the hit. Because you got it for Joe for his I birthday. I did. I got you? it for Joe as sort of a fun item. Mm -hmm. And then pop that and, you know, Toss make a little. sure that your Oreo is saying Oreo. Saying Oreo in the right direction. So, mm -hmm. and, and we're then, not going to link to how you get Oreos because we're no. assuming everybody knows that. That's right. There you go. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, if you want a different kind of cookie. But there it is. Um, that That's true. You could use like fancy other kind of chocolate. You cookies. absolutely could use other kinds of cookies. And mm -hmm. then, you know, this is a nod to Jackie with the, mm -hmm. the long dessert. And Jackie, course. in case you watch this before you get home, we have saved. We've made two pies. Heron came in and took an enormous chunk out of a pie for he and his fishing buddy. Um, but, but that's why I made two, so right. that everybody would be okay. So um, so that's that piece. We'll have a bite at the very end. But Sally, what do you have to sort of finish us oh, off with? What I'm doing this morning, and I'm trying to do this quickly, so by the time this podcast drops, you've um, got, oh, I'm you putting the bindings. Purple. Yeah, well, you know, that's right. I'm putting the bindings on it's these. very spring and eastery it Ooh, is Isn't look that at pretty? that yeah that's a nice that's that linen yeah that i'm gonna Very i'm gonna nice. probably need to have about two yards of this particular mm -hmm. yellow limey color mm -hmm. citrusy that's right oh look at how that pops that Isn't blue that mm. so i have about four more upstairs that i didn't have time to mm -hmm. do yet but i'll get those done so i have to tack those down um, it's all perhaps embellish. Yeah, it's all hand sewing. I machine the bias or the tape on, mm -hmm. which is two and a quarter inch folded over in half. And then I iron that down and I just sew it around. I can do a tutorial corners are easy once you figure that out. And 
and then it's all not all easy for everybody no i know but i mean i came up with a method so if you know you can text me if there's a method you know if you have a problem with corners mitered corners um yeah and then i will probably put some buttons on these i'm going to decide whether the hexagon flower gardens need to have buttons i haven't gotten a firm yeah, we'll figure it I out. I think I will. Sally's going to be a little busy, though, over the next three weeks. Oh, yes. Somebody decided. So little Miss Poppy is um, come has come into heat. So yes, um, this will be our first dog that we're experiencing. It's that my way. second. My The oh. dog I was raised with, a little dachshund. Um, my mother was always going to have her bred. So, in long story short, as she lived to be like 13, mm -hmm. never was spayed. And she never got pregnant, oh. but it was like mm -hmm. every six months, a right. little ordeal. Yeah, well, we are not planning on breeding Poppy, but there's a lot of research out there that it's good for them to go through at least one or two heat cycles. So we're going to give that a whirl. Uh, wish us luck, but we've got to have an eagle eye on this little sweet girl. So anyways, be busy. yeah, it's going to be a lot of busyness. So send a lot of love to Sally. Yes, and you know, that's true, but... Just, this has been very fun. Uh, bear with us. We're not as good an editing team as the Caddy Jacks ladies are. And we will do our best. I think it's going to be an hour and a half. But you'll by the time you get to this part, you'll be saying, oh, that was either funny. You didn't stick around for it. Ah, that's all right. But take it and, uh, yep. yeah. So I guess we're going to have, you know, a quick bite of pie. Wish you all could be here. Have mm. a great rest of the day. Mm. Mm. Yum. Yum. Yeah, you can wow without too much effort oh, yeah. on this one. 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. 30 minutes. Bye-bye. Take care.